Hello, in this video we're going to calculate the mean and the variance of a beta distribution and we represent that as X is a beta with parameters alpha and beta and alpha and beta are positive and our uh, domain is uh, X values between 0 and 1 the density can be written as this where these are gamma functions and X to the alpha minus 1, 1 minus X to the beta minus 1 um, I have a video on the gamma function and properties of the gamma functions. If you search that, you can learn more about these uh, functions. Um, first of all, the question, is it a PDF? So let's investigate that. And we're going to look at this denominator here and actually show that it's equal to this in the numerator. So when you divide them, they cancel, you know, e e equaling 1. So let's look at the denominator, alpha, gamma of alpha times gamma of beta. And this is the definition of a gamma function and with parameter alpha and parameter beta. So then we multiply those together and we get this uh, double integral. Now we're going to use a, a variable transformation, u equal x divided by x plus y. And then uh, you can solve for x, and you get this, and you can take the derivative of it, and you get y du over 1 minus u. Um, and then to, to substitute in this x plus 1, we can solve for x plus y here, and we get y over 1 minus u. So when you take these and plug them in, you get this. So um, the dx is this piece right here. Um, there's you know, or this piece um, x plus y is this which is what we have here and um, x is this which was this okay then we um, combine like terms the 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 y's and we get um, this now let's do another substitution, let V equal to Y over 1 minus U. And then you can solve for Y and take DY DV. And then we plug those into these functions. And, um, you know, you plug it in here and, and you get this and you plug in, uh, there's nothing there. Oh. Yes, so y is equal to this, and you plug it in, and there you get some cancellations in the denominator here. U um, is, is just this, but um, you don't get total cancellation with this. You leave some in the uh, numerator. Anyway, that's algebra, and I'm going to skip more details of that. But you can just plug it in and crank and grind. And then um, here... From here to here, we we uh, we separate these. We can put the the v's first and the u's second. Okay. Well, this here is it. Kind of looks like a gamma distribution, zero to infinity, and um, well, it is. That is gamma of alpha plus beta, and then this right here is whatever it is. Um, so now when we look at the integral to show that it's a density we integrate from 0 to 1 over f of x we integrate this and it equals 1 because this piece here it was this but if you look at that that's this numerator right so the bottom we just showed is equal to this numerator. So two things that are equal divided by each other are 1. And that's why we have 1 there. So now let's look at the mean of this. So uh, we take the uh, expected value of x is we plug in an x and then integrate over all possible values. And what we try to do is, or let me rephrase that, what I try to do is then make this look like another distribution or another density and it integrates to one and then whatever's left over we're, we're finished so if we take that x and make it x plus one 
we get this piece here, but this kind of looks like another beta distribution if we had the right parameters. So if this were gamma of alpha plus one, and then this would be alpha plus one plus beta, this integrates to one. But if we, you know, we can't just arbitrarily change the, 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 the value. We have to multiply it by a well-chosen one. So to get this from here, we times it times alpha. That means we have to put an alpha here. So they, you know, alpha divided by alpha is one. And the same way here, to get this numerator to be a plus one, we multiply it times beta plus alpha plus beta, which means we divide by it. And then since this goes to one, we're left with alpha over alpha plus beta. And the second moment is a similar approach to this. To find the second moment, we put x squared in here and then integrate over all possible values, 0 to 1. But we take that x and put it in here, and then we make this look like another beta distribution. And so that's what we do. So this right here is a beta, which we showed you know, integrates to 1. But then to get these parameters out here, you know, this we have to multiply it times alpha times alpha plus 1, which then is that. And to get this, we have to multiply it times alpha plus beta times alpha plus beta 1. But then this piece integrates to 1, leaving just this by itself. And then to find the variance, you know, we, you know, we have to we use the expected value of x squared minus the mean squared. So we plug in the values, and we just calculated that earlier. And then um, that combines to be this. But then when you simplify that, it reduces to this, which is the variance of a beta distribution. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.